Good evening. Good evening. Hi guys, good evening, great to see you. Thank you so much for, <clears throat> for joining. Hello, Yvette, good evening. How are you doing, Mr. Castaneda? Good evening, great to see you too. Good evening, Miss. Camila, good evening. Hi, Abigail, good evening, good evening guys. How are you doing? Hi, Miss. Hello, hi, Isaias, good evening. Lupita, great to see you, Lupita. Manuel, thanks for joining. How are you guys? How is your Wednesday? So, bien, is your Wednesday doing fine? I'm super glad to see you guys. Porque es nuestra última sesión. So, we're finishing today module number three. And it's really nice to uh, count on you and to see you here. Well, guys, um, eh, creo que tuve, um, han habido un par de dificultades con la plataforma. Eh, as far as I understand, si alguien había tenido problemas ingresando, ya está trabajando, it's working. Eh, pero agradecería, you know, eh, que reporten cualquier incidencia, si les bloquea el acceso, or something is uh, going on there, right? Uh, but, eh, eh, digamos que en teoría no tendría que darles la mayor dificultad. It was just a main and process. So um, let me know if that is the case. And tenía todavía problemitas con ello eh, para darle seguimiento, right? And uh, well, guys, so. Okay, give me one moment. Okay. So in the meantime, guys, el día de ahora, eh, we finish part of the activities we have. Eh, vamos a revisar un par de cositas. We're going to be checking a couple of things. Especialmente revisamos el último tema que es business traveling. I think it's really interesting. I think it's just fine. And, uh, okay. And, well, vamos a revisar un par de, like, thingies right here. Turn it to, to, okay. Never mind. I was just checking, checking something. Eh, guys, eh, antes de avanzar, ¿han tenido, aparte de la plataforma, eh, ¿han tenido alguna dificultad with that process? Hi, Debra, good evening. Eric, good evening, great to see you there. Eh, Debra, les comentaba a los chicos que la plataforma ya estaría funcionando like, regularmente, as it always does. But let me know if you have any feedback. Um, es siempre bienvenido, right? That is always welcome. So guys, vamos a avanzar, and uh, if you have like any comments on that, uh, please let me know. Um, you know, uh, para darle un poco de seguimiento, or like take a look at it. So guys, uh, vamos a iniciar ahora revisando un poquito de business traveling. Uh, vamos a practicar la parte de be going to, uh, que no le hemos practicado mucho like in a, a real environment, let's say. Uh, but to get started, I want to share with you a little exercise here. So give me just a moment. And I have this game, guys, that I want to share with you. So this one 
is um it has like some we are talking about like different places different cities different countries so tengo un par de lugares i have a couple of places and i need your help right identifying the places that we have so um what i want you to do is the following uh, guys, veamos que tanto conocen about the world, right, and famous places. Uh, each of them represent how many points you get. So you have 25, 50 points, 100 points, or 200 points. And here, uh, only you have to tell me like 200 points, number one, or 200 points, three. And uh, you have to tell us, tiene que contarnos, eh, tiene que responder la pregunta. You have to answer it the equation or decirnos el nombre del lugar, right? Tell us the name of the place that we have right here. So um, guys, let's get started. Let's check it out. Let's see if we get any of those. Si reconocemos alguno de ellos. Hi, David, good evening. Um, and guys, let's get started. Um, let's have a volunteer. Guys, comenzamos con alguno de ellos. So, uh, Abigail, si está por acá, dígame un número. Give me a number. Uh, seleccione la categoría and then el número, please. De 25, el 4. Okay, so 25, number 4. Let's take a look at number 24. And this one says this. Let me just take a look. What city have you arrived? If you find yourself in Moscow. El tiempo está corriendo, guys. Time is running. Time is running. Si alguien sabe la respuesta, say it. Russia. Russia? Okay, so time is over. And the answer is yes. Very good, David. Nice. So that is Russia. Okay, um, because I don't know how many people like that. It pretty much is the like idea. Um, we can have a competition, pero um, algunos no tienen la cámara, so I don't know. No sé si ya están acá. Okay. Okay, guys, so let's go back. Uh, so very good, that was Russia. Okay, guys, next person. Díganme el número, give me the category, y díganme el número, give me the order. Hagamos los generales, tuve generales. 50. 50. Number? 2. Number 2. Okay. Number 2. Remember, el tiempo empieza a correr super rápido. You have like maybe 10 seconds. Next. Which country is home to the river uh, Thames? ¿Alguna idea? Any idea? ¿Quiénes les gusta la geografía? El río, uh, what we call in Spanish, Thames, no? No, 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 okay. Da -da -da -da. So the answer, guys, is England. That was the one. Okay. Creo que estamos muy lejos, right? We are in Europe, okay? <laughs> so let's see how much we know about it. Okay, guys, uh, next one, Lupita, de mi número, give me a number. Number... Three? Okay, so number three, from this one, which one? 25, 50, 100, or 200? 100. Gracias, Carlo. Okay, 100, number three. Let's take a look. La mayoría son de Europa, guys, so, you know, that's the one. Mention two ways you can travel from the USA to Europe. Guys, ¿cómo podemos ir? Ayer vimos transporte. What can we use? By airplane. By um, airplane and ship. ship. Very good. By airplane and ship. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. By plane and ship. Excellent. There we got it. Okay. Yes. Obviously, we cannot take a train or anything. So by train or ship. Okay. Next one, guys. Give me another number. Number three, number three, 25? 25, number three. Oh, this is, I think they are easy. Okay. So, da, 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 da. what city is known as a big apple? This is in USA. 
The Big Apple. New York. New, New York. York New York. Okay. Let's take a look. And yes, very yes. good. That's the New York City. Nice. Okay. So that is the Big Apple. También nosotros tenemos the, uh, the Big Apple, right? In Sacamil, I believe. Okay. Um, next one, guys. 25, 50, 100, or 200. Nadie ha tocado los 200. So which one, guys? 200. 200, which number? Number two. Number two. Okay, very good. Da, 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 da. Where is a year's rock? So, vale más porque es más difícil, right? It's kind of complicated. ¿Cómo se dice Australia? Australia. Okay. Australia, ajá, uh -huh. okay. Okay, oh, is it like, quick question, ¿es su respuesta o is Google's answer? Google answer, miss. <laughs> okay, oh, well, that's okay, that's good. Yes, so that is Australia, very nice. Yeah, guys, okay, usamos Google, you can use Google. So veamos también que tan rápido pueden encontrar la respuesta, right? How fast you can look for the answer. Okay, uh, next one, guys. Uh, uh, 200 Next. number five. 200 number five. Okay, very good. So, da, 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 da. what is the most famous attraction in China? Is this a puzzle? This is easy. Muraya. La Muraya. Yeah. Okay. And how do you say Muraya? Muraya. It's on the pared, guys. How do you say no. pared? China wall. A wall, yes. So the name World is China. the Great Wall of China. Exactly. Would you like to go to the Great Wall of China? Mm -hmm. Les gustaría ir? China. Yes. Les gustaría, no? Yeah, right. Like a very, looks like a very, very nice one. Okay. So yes, very nice. Let's go to the next one. Guys, el siguiente, what is next? 203. 203, very good. Okay. And this one goes like this. What are the most important water activities in Australia? ¿Alguna idea para quienes han visto los Australia en los juegos que se hacen? What are the most important water activities? ¿Cuáles son las actividades que se hacen en agua, guys? Vela. No sé cómo se dice. Vela, okay. De hecho, ayer vimos el, como el tipo de barco. Yesterday, we kind yes. of checked it. Uh -huh. yeah. yes. I forgot about this. Yes. It's in the so, surfing and sailing. I don't sail boat. Mm -hmm. So, surfing and sailing. Very high, but very nice. Okay. So, surfing and sailing. That is the one, right? So, let's just check a couple more. And the last one, guys, seleccionamos el último. Select the last one, please. 104. 104. 104. Okay. 100. Number four. Hopefully it is easy. It says, What are Florida, Texas, and Alabama? ¿Qué son ellos? What are they? Estados. Okay. States. Cities or states? States. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Yeah, they are states, exactly. But they are not cities, but they are states, like Texas. You have Houston and then Texas, right? So, recuerden, de Houston, tenemos un problema. So, Houston es la ciudad en Texas, es el state. Okay, guys, very nice. I think we kind of got a couple of places. So very good job for it with that and thanks for participating. Now let's go ahead. Vamos a revisar un poquito parte de las activities that we had for the day. And that includes um, un poquito de listening. Y tenemos también un poquito de vocabulary. Let's get started with the vocabulary que vamos a revisar el día de ahora. Eh, como estamos hablando de traveling, algunas de las expresiones that we're going to work with se relacionan with that. So look at this one. Here we have planning your holiday. Um, 
obviously, hay un par de cosas que necesitamos cuando eh, planeamos un holiday, right? So, tenemos money, type of holiday, destination, and organization. So, let's take a look at money. You need to set your budget, how much you can spend. So, we have the word in bold, that is budget, right? Su presupuesto. So, we need to know cuánto es para comida, cuánto es para transporte, and everything. Um, even help me with type of holiday, please. Ayúdame con el siguiente. Just read it. Type of holiday. Yes, please. Type of holiday. Uh, here, the second. Okay, second. Say so it's the relax, cruise, sightseeing, sightseeing, fishing, mm -hmm. activity holiday, climbing, snowboard, other sport activities. Thank you so much. So type of holiday obviously incluye qué es lo que vamos a hacer, right? Um, seaside relax, so se van a ir al mar. Are you going to like just relax at the sea? Eh, cruise, alguien ha tomado un crucero. Eh, sightseeing, o les gusta ir más a pueblear. Do you like to go to pueblitos, you know, and uh, go to Huayua, go to Ataco and just enjoy it? Fishing, no sé si alguien va a pescar, right? Or if you prefer climbing, snowboarding, swimming, um, mountain climbing, etc. So here we have a type of holiday, los diferentes tipos. Guys, do you like seaside relax? Se van a la playa? Do you normally go on um, a seaside relax cuando tienen holidays? Como yes, solo a sentarse y a yes, relajarse? Do. do you like it? Do, do you have a favorite place? Or do you have a favorite beach? Do you prefer la libertad or la paz? I prefer Sonsonate. Oh, yeah. where do you go in Sonsonate? Playa Azul, Costa Azul. Costa Azul. Is that near Misata? No, it's no Miss. It's al otro lado. It's Oh, or close to Los Cobanos. No, you see, you turn the right uh, before Los Cobanos. But is it close? Is it close? Or no, not really? No, it's not close. Okay. okay. It's close okay. Uh, by Metalillo. Metalillo is. It's, it's narrow. Okay. Metalio is, is that in Sonsonate? Yes, miss. Oh my God, I, I, am, I am terrible with geography, but I had the idea that Metalio was very close to Metapan. No, miss, Metapan no tiene playa. Oh, okay. Thank you for the clarification. I was always confused. Because teacher, Metapan, is Metapan, Metalio. Metapan tiene <laughs> bosque, teacher. Tiene lagos. Metapan tiene la ley. Oh, okay. So Monte Cristo, Trifinia, that's in Metapan, right? Teacher, ¿qué playas hay en, en La Paz? Like, or la, la costa? Like, all the beaches that you have very close to La Costa? And then after La Paz, you also have the ones in San Miguel, I believe. And what's the other place? Uh, La no, Union no. too, right? La Union has really oh. nice beaches too. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. But, but interesting that you like Sonsonate. Guys, what about La Union? Do you like the beaches of La Union, like Playas Negras and all those? El Tamarindo and El, tu el Cuco, right? Cuco. Or. Uh -huh. Do you like those? Or are you not going to recommend it? Is there any beach you recommend to us? El Cuco. It's beautiful. Yes, el cuco. Beach. I agree. El Cuco is a very nice beach. Okay. Okay. So that is like a seaside relax, right? We go, we take pictures, we stay some minutes. Oh, okay. El Espino too. And that's it. 
Then we have sightseeing. Guys, what is your favorite sightseeing place? Costa del Sol, San Marcelino, del lado de... Ah, San Luis Talpa, you're right. La Sunganera, okay. Uh, Luis, have you gone to La Sunganera? No, hola. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I got to, to wait. So, Cruz. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, Luis Cruz. Um, but are those beaches nice? Are they, I don't know, do they look cool? Como si no le entiendo, perdón. No, no, I mean, uh, because you have like San Marcelino and San Luis Talpa. I have never gone to San Luis Talpa, eh, but. Eh, Ah, o hay, ahí están las, ho las hojas. Sí, sí, hay una entrada sí, por ese lado. Sí. Ah, ok. Por el okay. lado de San Luis Talpa, por el lado del aeropuerto, se pudiera decir. Ya, yeah, atrás, ¿verdad? Behind the, the airport. Sí. Oh, that's right. Never mind, guys. Entonces sí me gusta esa playa. <ríe> so, pero no sabía que se llamaba la, 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 la escalera. No, esas son las hojas, ¿verdad? This uh, there is a little hot can. Uh, Where? Apply the pimental. Where and, is the pimental? Uh, a la par de la sunganera. How do you, how do you say a la par, uh, Eduardo? Pues está allá o. Claro. How do you say a la par, Eduardo? Wait, es que está, the... está, la, está la sunganera y medio kilómetro hacia adelante le dicen playa del pimental. Ok, pero en inglés, Eduardo, estábamos practicando direcciones estos días. You can do it. Hasta ahora, so, pues. Ok, es que recuerdo que ustedes mencionaron, right, que habían andado por esta zona de Talpa o la herradura, I'm not sure. Seguido, vamos. Ah, ok, ok. So, no, no. you have telas, telas. Es que yo ya casi que no salgo de San Salvador. De la campanera no paso, pues bye. <laughs> okay, but what do you mean? Uh, pero es que, guys, ustedes salen, salen a, 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 um, como al campo. Sí. Hacen trabajo de campo. Sí, mucho. Okay. Roteo okay. en casa de clientes, cantones, de todo. Oh, okay. That's why you know a lot of places. Okay, okay. So there you go, guys. We have a couple of more recommendations, uh, like about the places yeah. where we can go. The other type of vacation yeah. we have yeah. is sightseeing, yeah. right? So sightseeing se refiere a pueblear, like to go and uh, uh, to, okay. Oh, Debra, de con respecto, I'm sorry, guys, voy a hacer solo un comercial. Con respecto al problema que me mencionó, y les comentaba al inicio eh, que en teoría la plataforma ya le dieron mantenimiento. So, si gusta, salga totalmente, so, log out completely, eh, dele refresh, espera un par de minutos y logue esta nuevamente. Uh, si todavía is giving you some problems, entonces vamos a dejarla por el momento ahí hasta que eh, tengamos más instrucciones de los compañeros de soporte. But por el momento, eh, desloguense. Ok. Ok, si tiene like eh, screenshots o algo, le agradecería que nos compartan en el grupo para que los compañeros también, you know, para que haya como evidencia, right? Que no es porque... Eh, You don't want to do it. It's not because realmente it's the platform. That would help a lot. So thank you. I'm sorry, Mr. Casanera, dígame. Hi, Miss. Yeah. Uh, in San Luis Talpa, there is a little hotel, very nice. There, oh, in San Luis Talpa, okay. Yes, uh, hotel, a hotel. Bahia del Sol, or Mar, yeah, Sol y Mar, yeah, something. Yeah. Eh, hotel, no, hotel no. este rancho Estero y Mar. The one, no, Estero y Mar. Okay. Is, I have um, heard that is good. Do you recommend it, guys? Yes, me. Uh, this hotel have three stars. 
Three stars. Oh, that's good. In the, okay. uh, Bahia del Sol uh, how two stars. Oh, okay. It's not bad. All right. Sounds actually okay. very nice. And I think they have a day pass. So you can go just for the day. It's not a bad. Huele mal. Huele mal. Huele mal. Huele mal. Oh, okay. You know what I don't like? Actually, amar. You know, yo tengo este, esta idea, but con el puerto de la libertad. When I go to the port, se siente un olor um, como a animal. I don't know how to say it. Como mariscos, como um, los sobrantes del marisco. So I'm like, oh, I don't like it. But the, the place is nice. Just I don't like the smell. Probably it's the same. Okay, so those are places, and I'm glad, me alegra mucho que los hayan mencionado, because ya vamos a practicar and talk about those. Then the next one is destination. So in destination, we have like a location, a country. Tenemos country or countryside, es el pueblo, right? Para quienes nos gusta estar lejos de la ciudad, for example, en las zonas más alejadas from the urban city. Holiday Resort, que es lo que ustedes mencionaron. Eh, Mountain Range, uh, para quien le gusta ir a acampar, right? Places like Metapan, eh, Monte Cristo, and the other one. So, El Trifinio, all those areas, or El Pital in Chalate, right? And then we have organization. Plan your holiday alone, contact travel agency, package holiday, or compromise get the basic packet and plan your extras. So these are a couple of things that we need. Eso es lo que necesitamos to talk about uh, these places. But of course, junto con esto también agregamos, we are going to add like uh, part of the things that we need. Un segundito, give me just a moment here. Mm, I'm gonna show them over to you. So we also have, let me see. We also have part of the previous or oh, seaside. Well, sure, seaside refers to just to go to the sea, como uno de los ranchos, like a beach house and a stay there. Um, now, um, for example, guys, it's a long resort if you go to uh, this place that you mentioned in San Luis Talpa or any other that you know, hay algunas cosas que ellos incluyen, incluyen, right? Like a swimming pool, um, a convention, well, there are some that are convention hotels. Eh, ¿Qué era safe? ¿Se recuerdan? Do you remember the meaning of safe? Es seguridad, pero uh, también safe se refiere a un objeto. It refers to an object. Caja fuerte. Caja fuerte, very good. So we have bed and breakfast, o servicio al cuarto, hair dryer, mini bar, que decíamos que era como el mini refri, cable TV, or satellite TV, room service, spa, Wi-Fi, and a cabin. So cabin son las que encontramos uh, por ahí por el pital, right? And uh, guys, en Monte Cristo, or in estos lugares se encuentran cabin, como eh, caballitas, lugares super pequeñitos, where you can yes, sleep. Yes, miss. Pero only Monte Cristo, right? Yeah. Okay. Or hay otro lugar que nos recomienden donde hayan cabins. En Lima. Um, el Limo. Uh -huh. El Limo, el Limo. Pero eso es where? Eh, es como yendo a la frontera. Okay. Okay, so el limo. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Se debía a la derecha. Hoy hay otras okay. cosas que se llaman las mesas también. Las mesas. Are those places nice? Es bonito. Is it nice? Yeah. They're oh. amazing. Oh, okay. Which one? El limo or las mesas or both? Both of them. Oh, okay. Okay, sounds really nice. Means um, the place uh, uh, nice is the uh, glass house in Cerro Verde. 
the crystal one or ah crystal. yes yes i i know it i really like it very hi cheap. miss okay yes i i have you know i really like um i really like camping so i normally go to to well not normally but i have gone like for a couple of of times to go and like camp there it's very nice any other place guys where you can find like some yeah. cabins or some hats for the noches hi good evening hey, teacher perdón que interrumpa la clase pero en estos minutos necesito que por favor hagamos la encuesta de satisfacción oh all right that sounds okay gracias miss Okay, guys, sorry, vamos a hacer un commercial and this is like TV that we're going to have. And uh, here, one second, guys. Give me just a moment. Um, let me see. Creo que no tengo a nadie nuevo, so this is going to be a piece of cake for you. Okay, guys, so as you remember, les comentaba que la encuesta de satisfacción es como nuestro último uh, you know, reminder or la carta de finalización que tenemos. So, les voy a compartir el link. I'm going to share this with you para que la podamos eh, completar. No es nada difícil. Es la misma que hemos tomado en módulos anteriores. Pero solo les voy a pedir, guys, que lo hagamos juntos. We do it together porque hay información bien eh, específica que no, no nos podemos equivocar. Like, no podemos poner un número donde no va, and things like those. So, les voy a compartir el link acá. I'm going to share it here. Um, solo les pido que chequen y doble chequen que la información esté bien. Les voy a estar copiando y pegando para que sea mucho más práctico. En este que les estoy compartiendo es el link. Me confirman si todos lo pueden abrir, si les da algún problema o si está todo bien. If it looks good. I in right now. You're there. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Sounds good. So, um, give me one second. Let's voy a compartir pantalla. One moment, please, teacher. Yes, yeah, sure, no problem. Les voy a ir compartiendo pantalla también para que lo vayamos haciendo, right? En cualquier duda, guys, let me know. So, esta encuesta va directamente a Insafor. And uh, si se fijan, comienza con, it starts with el número de orden. So, wait. Les voy a mostrar. Tendría que verse así, Insafor, encuesta de satisfacción. And uh, eh, les va pidiendo eh, algunos datos. Guys, me regalan confirmación que todos estamos acá, please. Yes, miss. Yes, okay. miss. Perfect. Amazing. Really, really nice. Okay. So, lo que vamos a ir haciendo, guys, es que les copio acá la información y ustedes solamente la van pegando. Eso es todo. No nos vamos a complicar, no la vamos a escribir, ni nada más. So, el número de orden es el siguiente. Se lo voy a copiar acá. And solo copienlo, guys, y péguenlo. That's it. Entonces, ven, vengo y lo voy a poner tal cual está acá. Y eso es todo. Ya está que van a ir jugando con las pantallas, but let me know <clears throat> si llega a pasar algo o se le cierra o something. En la número dos, en number two, podemos adelantarnos eh, solamente algunos datos si me van a esperar, please. El nombre completo es su nombre completo, so, tal como aparece en el do it, please. Si, aparece, si alguien está casada y aparece de, le ponemos todo tal cual el do it, please. <coughs> ¿Sería en mayúscula o minúscula? No hay problema, puede ser ambas. Teacher, okay. no encuentro el, los primeros datos, los primeros números. 
Miss, el primero, el número uno, es el, el que le acabo de compartir acá. Si gusta, váyase al chat de aquí de Zoom, copia esa información y la pega. No la vaya a escribir. Copy and paste. Oh. Uh -huh. Ese es el bueno. primero. Vale, me confirma, Miss. El correo electrónico, de igual forma, este es personal, guys. Es su correo electrónico. Y número de celular, igual. Su sí. número de teléfono. Perdón, Miss, lo envió al chat de WhatsApp. No, me se los acabo de enviar al chat de acá, pero denme un segundo y ya se los envío. Pero, WhatsApp. Vamos a seguir haciendo tareas, no, no creas que ya te enviaste. Pero lo mandaron a los números de teléfono de uno. ¡Ayuda! Nombre del proveedor sería en inglés el... colectivo, Regal International. En el... Eh, eh, vaya, vaya, permítanme. Permítanme un segundito. Eh, sí, ya se las enviaron, pero si no se las cayó, no se preocupen, no worries. Eh, se los comparto nuevamente. Solo para que lo copien y lo peguen. El primer número es el número de orden. Solo copienlo, peguenlo y eso es todo. That should be it. So, el resto de información que nos va a pedir, guys, hasta la número 7 es información personal. La 6 es sexo. El 6 departamento de residencia es de ustedes. El 7 municipio de residencia es información personal. Hasta el número 7, guys, nos detenemos. Porque el 8 dice empresa donde se trabaja. Pero no es el nombre normal, sino que es la razón social de su empresa. Now, pregunta. ¿Todos saben la razón social de su empresa? Yes, yes miss. Perfecto. Súper, súper. Si alguien no se recuerda, let me know y acá se lo comparto con gusto. Yeah. Eduardo. Eh, el nombre de la de, de, del lugar de, de, de residencia. Ese la es el du, suyo. La del duyo o la actual. ¿Dónde usted vive? Con esa no, no hay problema, Eduardo. Con esa okay. we are good. Uh -huh. Teacher, una consulta. Unicomer ¿Sígueme? es unicomer de El Salvador o solamente unicomer? Ahorita le confirmo. Dame un segundito. Eh, no, dicho, teacher, en mi caso, ¿es el nombre completo o el nombre corto? Sería el nombre completo, ¿verdad? Tecnologías sí. innovadoras, o sea, de CB. Sí. Son los nombres completos. Dame un segundo okay. y ya le confirmo cuál es el nombre que aparece como razón social. Y tal vez me ayuda con el mío, por favor. Por supuesto. Give me one second. Un segundito, solo que me cargue y ya les comparto. Ok. Ok, guys, so, se las voy a escribir acá. Eh, se las dejo por acá para que solo la copien y la peguen. Su so, Camilo aparece como asociación. Luis, 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 Luis Cruz. Aparece como Unión Comercial, de hecho. Unión Comercial sería. Sí, acá se lo, se lo, acá se lo pego. Uh -huh. Yes, ese ha de saber. Unicomer. Eh, Let me see Jorge, right? So, Jorge, la suya parece como tecnologías innovadoras que se ha de saber. Teacher, una consulta. Ok, thank you. Dígame, Javier. Si yo cambié de trabajo en el transcurso del curso, ¿cuál empresa debería poner? ¿Dónde, ¿Cómo se... su, como su, como si mando la documentación con la empresa de diseño, vamos a mandarle con la empresa anterior. Porque ese fue el inicialmente. Entonces aparece okay. como diseño y sistema de equipos de cocina. Uh -huh. Ok, muchas gracias. Welcome. ¿Alguien más tiene dudas o estamos bien? Are we good? 
Okay. Si no, guys, let me know. Miss, okay. donde, donde dice empresa donde trabaja, no, no sé. Ok, ahorita me se confirmó. en WhatsApp, por favor? Claro, eh, Carla, usted aparece como Fadi, Fadi Weber. Sí. Ya se lo comparto. Deme un segundo. Ok, there you go. Ok, guys, y seguimos. Si ya tiene la número 8, vamos con la número 9. Nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. Acá vamos a buscar el que dice inglés corporativo Regal International. Cuando lo seleccionan, lo mejor es que le den un clic afuera, porque si solo baja, le va a seleccionar otro. Entonces, tiene que decir inglés corporativo Regal International. Y el nombre del, el del curso, ahorita se lo pego. Aparece como inglés principiante módulo 3. Hagan solo para que lo copien y lo peguen. Ok, um, en la número 11, guys, tenemos la valoración. So, en la valoración, usted estima que, cuáles son los valores, you know, que le daría con respecto al material, a las clases, everything. Claro que esperamos que todo haya sido de su agrado. Y en la fecha en que inició el curso, este módulo inició con fecha 25 de enero. So, vamos a buscar dentro del de menú que nos aparece, 25 de enero. I'm gonna write it here. Y terminamos el día de ahora, 22 de febrero, right? So, acá solamente vamos a buscar la fecha. So, iniciamos el, en enero, right? Buscamos la fecha 25. Y la fecha de ahora de una sola vez le va a aparecer marcada, solo la selecciona y eso es todo. Luego tenemos el nivel de satisfacción después de completarlo. La número 15, si hay otro curso adicional a inglés que les interesa, ya que estos son impartidos por Insafor, ustedes pueden escribir si hay algo de Excel o algo de marketing o algo que les interese, right Y si tienen comentarios de mejora o algo eh, en lo que podamos you know, mejorar, eh, el servicio que hemos brindado lo pueden escribir acá y luego le dan clic en enviar solo recordarles que después de enviar les va a aparecer un gracias guys y necesitamos que de toma en captura al igual que el envío Javier y escriba su nombre completo para tener registro de quien lo ha completado teacher la, la fecha de inicio 25 de enero dice bueno. 25 de enero correcto so gracias Solo nos dejan las capturas, guys, con su nombre completo. Gracias, Abigail. Thank you, Jorge. Thank you, Lupita. Thank you, David. Ok, Eduardo y Stone. Thank you, Manuel. I have a problem. Guys, hay alguien que me aparece como monarca, solo si nos ayuda con el nombre completo, please, para identificarlo. Thank you, Suleima. Five, 
And, okay. Thank you, Luis. Um, yeah, uh, me parece alguien como Edu. So I'm not sure if it's Eduardo. Oh, Yvette, okay. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, so falta Isaías. I'm missing Camilo. I'm missing Eric. I'm missing Deborah, Carla too. And that's it. Oh, and Bane. hi, Bane. Thank you, Camilo. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Vane. Okay, guys, so I'm just missing every day, Miss Aias. So let me know, guys, if there is anything. Um, difficulties, right? And gracias, guys. Thank you so much uh, for sharing your screenshot. So I think we are good. Okay. Thanks a lot. Oh, Victoria se fue. Victoria is gone. Jorge, hi. I love your I love your background. It looks so cool. <laughs> It's, it's that's nice. a leash, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, that's super cool. Yeah. It yeah, makes teacher. you feel. It makes you feel like a tevish. Where did you get <laughs> it? It's, it's, okay. a, it's a new version. Oh, it's a beta so it's version. an updated. Yeah. Oh, a, a beta. Is it? Oh, yeah. I saw it now. Wait, wait. But did you find okay, it here? Yeah, de Semana Santa. Wait, where yeah. did you get it? Oh my God. Being, being Wednesday, cenizas. <laughs> ah, okay. But I don't believe control. I'm like, wait, I don't find it here. So, usted lo subió. <laughs> did you upload it? Yeah, teacher. Ah, okay. Sí, porque aquí no está. I didn't find it here. Okay. Yeah, oh, that would be very nice, guys, that you can have your own background. That looks really cool. Okay, so I'm sorry about the commercial, but that was necessary. And uh, so coming back, regresando to this very important thing, estamos hablando un poquito de vacation, right? We were talking about like some vacation and que es lo que normalmente buscamos como una cabin or a hostel or a holiday resort or something like this. Now, guys, quick question. Ustedes que llevan? When you go on vacation, ¿cuáles son algunos artículos? What items do you take on your vacation? So, ¿qué se llevan? What do you normally take? So, only money. Uh, only money, no. How well? Clothes. In my case, is, uh, I go to what's the name? My D. Uh -huh, so, okay, money. Yeah, we know that you have to take money, right? But uh -huh, a towel, somebody said, but I can give a towel. Towel and my ID. Towel and ID. That's it. No, wait, guys, pero si tienen niños, you can go there just with a towel. Food, but what kind of food? Sandwiches and food? The bikini. Okay, so the bikini money? Ice box. Ice box. 
like like a bag. Como se dice de, de, de lera, miss. Ah, cooler. A cooler. Okay. A cooler. Wine, teacher. Oh, vino. ¿Cómo sería? Oh, excuse me. Wine. Okay. Red or okay. wine. Bien exquisito. Uh -huh. So I was like, okay. Why? Oh, I like it. Why? Cheers. Red. 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 Guys, pero es que era para la playa. Or where are you going? So, en la noche. Oh, bien. you have some wine. So wine, cheese. Pero guys, igual con la familia. Toda, ¿Aún así llevan wine, Jorge? No problem. No problem. Okay. Hasta guaro lleva eso. Esa, to, today, teacher. Some, some beers, too. Okay. Well, oh, right. Right. Umbrella, and it's fine. Mm. Umbrella. Ah, an umbrella, yes. Bloqueador, umbrella. Se dice? What do you say, bloqueador? Ah, that's very important. Sunscreen? Okay. Pero eso es para la playa, right? This is for the beach. What about uh, sightseeing? Y si nos vamos a pueblitos, sightseeing? ¿Qué llevan? What do you take? Yes. Wayne, Wayne, Wayne. Wine. Wine. Cheese. Yes. Cheese. But imagine, imagine that they will attack just for, I don't know, one day. For Eduardo? I'm sorry, no le logré escuchar. I couldn't hear you. Camera. Ah, okay, a camera. So a camera. My hat. Okay, a hat, yes, or a cup, right? So a hat, what a cup. Grocery. Okay. Grocery, please. Grocery, Coca-Cola. Grocery, what do you mean by grocery? Coca-Cola. La Coca-Cola para qué, miss? Wait. Para la playa, for the beach, or for sightseeing tour? De toda forma. Eh, la, ok, la coca cosa, we need a coca Yo siempre cola. como. Ok. Coca es indispensable. Okay. Es, que, es que los lugares turísticos son más caras, teacher. Es más llevar. Ah, exactly. Guys, yo llevo agua. So I water. take water uh -huh. with me. I don't take a coca cola. Pero es que bien interesante because no me dijo soda. It was very specific. Coca cola. No Pepsi, no Bicola, but Coke. No me okay. gustan. <laughs> okay. Um, what else? What do you take? Hay que ser más fino. Yes. Okay. Guys, yo me llevaría mi cargador. I take my charger with me. Oh, yes. Sunglasses. Uh, sunglasses, Batman. very good. Ah, uh, battery, yes. Sunglasses, battery. Okay. Nice. So here we have a couple of, like, things that we need obviously everything depends on the kind of tour that we're going to have so ¿qué vamos a hacer, guys? Vamos a planificar un tour. we're going to plan a little tour but lo vamos a hacer in groups so what are we going to present si se recuerdan parte de la unidad es hablar en futuro so we are going to talk about first vamos a hablar del destination right destination Van a escoger en grupo. Si es una, es una beach, a seaside a rest. Uh, si lo que van a tomar es un sightseeing tour. Si van a tomar un crucero, a cruise. O si es que van a ir a hacer deporte. What kind of activities do you want to do? Second, the budget. Yes. Necesitamos saber cuánto dinero hay que llevar. So we need to say how much money you need. $100, dollars $200, $50. Todo depende de dónde vayan, right? Everything depends on where you go. Then, activities. ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? What activities are you going to do in the place? And the last one, items or special recommendations. Si tienen algo, eh, una recomendación específica de um, qué llevar, qué no llevar to that place. Now, como hablamos de futuro, porque vamos a hablar de la Semana Santa, ya que lo mencionó Jorge here, que ya viene, you know, and it's super close in April, vamos a utilizar futuro para eso. So, what is future? Vamos a utilizar be going to. Por ejemplo, si quiero ir, um, si vamos a ir, no sé, guys, díganme el lugar. Bishop Mountain. A mountain. Okay, so 
San Blas. Okay, it's a beach. For example, on the next holiday. Yo on, llevar a Jorge. On, on the next, okay, on the next <laughs> vacation, on the next, solo por el vino, right? So on the next holiday, on your next vacation, we are going to travel to San Blas, you say, right? So we are going to travel to San Blas. Uh, we are going to, um, so vamos a llevar, por ejemplo, ¿cuánto llevaríamos para San Blas, guys? Si somos, ¿cuántas personas? Like two, three people, ¿cuántos necesitamos? How much do we need? ¿Cuál es el budget? ¿Cuál es el presupuesto? Um, today or one day? One day, only one. Oh, Está muy no. caro, guys, too expensive. Okay, one day, how much? And two days, how much? It's very it's cheap. Relax one day. Okay, so one day, how much do we need? Guys, ¿quién es han ido? Who have been there? Get 60 bucks. Yes. 60 per person or 60 para todos. Per person. 60 per person. Almost. Is it those days? If it is two days, 100. O muy poquito. No, Miss 10 or $20 per person. Yeah, David says $60 per person. So, pero igual no. ustedes pueden decir, es que depende de qué va a ser. Depende si lleva cosas o vaya a comprarlas, right? Depende si va a cocinar allá o a puro atún, you know, en tortillas. So, it, it really depends on what we are going to eat. Guys, he sido mochilera, so... <laughs> I just eat the uh, bread and, you know, tuna. So you can say like for one day, you need, right? Y podemos decir cuánto. Or for two days, you need, y utilizamos la palabra per person. So por persona, right? So, ¿qué es lo que necesitan? ¿Qué van a llevar y qué van a hacer? Uh, guys, vamos a hacer like super small groups. Creo que la mayoría está acá. So everybody can participate. Y pónganse de acuerdo first. ¿En qué lugar? Guys, dejémoslo en El Salvador. No vayamos lejos. Don't go far away. Porque no hay dinero. So let's talk about El Salvador. There are really beautiful places in El Salvador. And think about this. Le voy a compartir eso. You know, para que you get an idea there. Pues vámonos y para el parque centenario. Pues sí, pero igual se gasta. So... <laughs> What are some Five things that you... person. No. No, because I, I don't know. There are some tortas in, in, in yeah. front of Centenario. Yeah. There are some famous tortas, right? Uh -huh. Pero yeah. Que there are more activities, so. No more. No, Bicycle. yeah, there, there should be some. I don't like the centenario. Okay, guys, so vamos a los grupos. Let's go to the groups. Armémosla, tenemos un par de minutos to do that. And intentemos todo participar, right? So, se pueden ir dividiendo. You can divide, que es lo que va a presentar cada uno. What everybody will be presenting. So, guys, let's go. Let's go there. So vamos a los grupos, guys. Go to the groups. So, Camilo, Eric, Mr. Cruz, Javier, let's go there. Um, Carla, no sé si llegó, let's go there. Debra, let's join it. Let's join the group. Sorry, teacher. Oh, Estoy manejando ahorita para la casa. Oh, okay. Okay, you're fine. That's okay. Be careful. Voy camino a casa, teacher, por Comalapa. Todavía no llego, ya voy a hacer la encuesta. Oh, ok, ok. Bueno, no se preocupe, gracias. Oh, my God, viene lejos. You're far. 
sacando sin carga. Ok, Carla, no se preocupe. No worries. That's okay. Thank you. Gracias a mí por conectarse. Thank you so much for that. That's all right. Esperemos que le aguante para terminar la sesión, right?
So, Jorge sí se ve como que anda afuera. <laughs> so, you look like you are on the beach. <laughs> He's very relaxed, teacher. Yes, but you can look at yourself and you're like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm cool here. Oh. Okay, guys, so I believe everybody finished. I think everybody is done here. So, uh, vamos a presentar, guys, los lugares que escogieron. Claro, la idea es que todos participen. The idea is that everybody participates here. No solamente una persona, right? So, eh, como ya lo practicaron, tendría que ser un poco más fácil, más um, easier to decide. Entonces, pueden dividírselo y lo presentamos, right? So, we go ahead and we present it. Um, Deme solo un segundito que algunos compañeros todavía no han venido here. So, they are not here yet. <coughs> Okay. okay, so give me one second. Where are the rest? No, they are here already. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at what you got. Eh, tengo algún voluntario? Do I have any volunteers? Jorge, necesito eso. I need that. How did you get it? Oh my God, how did you get that? So I need a, a, like a teddy bear like that. Guys, so son avatar, teacher, son avatar. oh, that's an avatar. Okay. <laughs> Guys, you activated those avatars too. Did you activate them? Ah, ya los vi. I saw them already. Pero no me ya los encontró, teacher. Yes, but no me deja. Doesn't let me. Ah, tiene que dar en, en video y ahí yo se abierto el background. Mm, no. Y ahí le pone background and effect. Y de ahí, ahí está los blur. Mm, no. Creo que tengo que configurarlo. I think I need to uh, modify it. So... No, I need to update it. Yes, necesito um, update it. Okay, guys, so mientras Jorge termina de probar los avatars, he has. <laughs> okay. No, so no, 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 no. No, como no. I, I, that was really nice. I liked it. That was really cool. Okay, guys, so volunteers. Who wants to volunteer? Tenemos algún voluntario, guys? Do we have anybody? Okay, so tengo tres grupos. I do have three groups. So comencemos, guys. Let's get it started with the first. And oh, let me take a look here. Okay, so group number one, that is... Debra, Isaías, Jorge, and Eduardo. Guys, you are group number two. Group number one, sorry. Group number two is David, Javier, Enrique, and Manuel. And group three is Estela, Carla, and Lupita. Me falta Ivette, creo, pero no sé qué pasó con Ivette. Okay, guys, so let's start with number one. Uh, guys, tell us about it. So, uh, ¿qué, ¿qué escogieron? ¿Qué va a presentar primero? Who goes second? Um, escogimos la montaña, teacher. Okay, that's okay. We're going to, on um, the next holiday, we are going to travel to El Pital, Chalatenango. And my partner, uh, Deborah. We're going to talk about the bucket. The bucket. Okay, you are going to rent a car. Do you hear me? Do you hear me, teacher? Yes, yes, yes. I can hear you. I'm sorry, stop being okay. mute. The budget, right? We decided to rent a car. Okay. And 
the, we are going to spend around $35 to rent a car uh, okay. and $50 to the gas for gas. Okay. And we we think about the 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 budget about um, dinner, a snack, and breakfast and lunch. For okay. the breakfast, we're going to spend um five dollars. We're going to eat pupusas maybe or um age or coffee or something like that. Then for the snack, we're going to buy a Coke and nachos or dianas. Okay. And for the lunch, um, we bought um, how do you pronounce it? Budget. Oh, budget. Budget. Mm -hmm. budget um, eight dollars. Maybe eat a uh, sopa de, de, de gallina, creo que dijo un compañero. Okay. <laughs> for the dinner, and uh, we're going to spend around five dollars and we're going to buy pupusa because it's cheaper than others meal. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, I agree. Ah, and we're going to to pay for the day pass around fifteen dollars. And my 15, other yeah. Fifteen per person. Yes, because the places are expensive in El Salvador, you know. And El Pital is, is not the exception. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. And the other guys are going to talk. Is going to talk about the destin. No, the, the activities. Okay. Pero se me olvidó el nombre. Activities. Eduardo. Excuse me. Right, uh, and the red wine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Tranquilo, ya va a llegar ahí, ya va a llegar ahí. Okay, okay. Ay, es que no le incluyeron en el budget, right? No, miss. Es cierto. Okay. Vamos, Eduardo, you can do it. Con Eduardo estábamos, no estábamos con Eduardo. Permítame, let me double check. Yes, Eduardo. Yes. Eduardo, yes, Eduardo en Isaías. Ah, no, no, Estaba hablando un niño con camisa amarilla y ese no me acuerdo. No, no estaba con eso. Okay. Eh, Jorge se está divirtiendo. <laughs> the wine, the, the red wine, it is courtesy of George. Okay, so red wine is having effect in George right now. <laughs> okay, Eduardo, tell us what are the activities that you're going to be doing? It's going okay. to River, Rio Chiquito. Okay. Activities. Mm -hmm. uh, use a canopy. Okay. And uh, more. Only this. So you are going to Rio take Chiquito? Remember, take a picture. Yeah. You are doing, okay, so you're going to Rio Chiquito. You are doing canopy. And that's it. No more activities in, in El Pital. But it's que solo es un día, right? It's only one day. So I think that you have like a sort of day pass. Guys, ¿qué más se puede hacer en el What else can we do at the hospital? Visit a garden. Okay. Uh, no se le puede decir, teacher, right? walking yeah. este, a, 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 al lugar turístico que es una piedra que, que está partida en ah, dos yes. es la que separa Honduras con El Salvador yes you're right you're right yeah, so uh, climbing going that one so going to la tierra yeah, la piedra rojada exactly yeah okay 
Yes, but there are not like too many activities. La mayoría es go camping, right? Pero es para dos días. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good. What do you need to take? Deborah? Uh, maybe because uh, when you are in the chalate, you you enjoy the 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 weather, I guess. It's, I it's think so. The most common I don't know. reason to go to go there, huh? That's right. But what, what do you what do you need? What items do you need to take to El Pital, guys? Oh, uh, we decide to to carry a sweater, maybe cup, uh, okay. water, sunscreen, okay. and okay. tennis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, sounds amazing. Very nice job. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, por un día no hay como mucho que hacer. I think there are not many activities to do. Quizás para dos era el vino, right? So we could just wine definitely for that one. Okay, guys, very nice job. That was good. Um, guys, let's jump to group number two. Are you ready, guys? So David, eh, Mr. Castaneda, Javier, and Manuel. What place did you select, guys? And what are you going to do? Okay, Miss, uh, uh, be going to Miramundo uh, on the next holiday. Our budget is uh, for today's, and um, we need to $50 per person. And- uh, 50? Say 50. Okay. Uh, and in this place, we, Enjoy a uh, mountain site. Miss, uh, I have a question. Uh, mm -hmm. In the sea, uh, on, on the beach, uh, you say seaside. Uh, if it is the beach, yes. And, and the mountain, uh, maybe mountain side. Mountain mm. side relax. Or no? Yeah, yeah, it could work. Okay. Uh, we uh, mountainside relax, climbing, to camping, fishing, and the other activity. And uh, um, we uh, we have uh, there scary stories around the campfire or on fire. No, what was it? Campfire. 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 Yes. Campfire. Uh, Campfire uh, too. Mm -hmm. uh, roasting marshmallow okay. and drinking Coca Cola. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, That's really beca nice. be because Jorge, we, uh, Jorge no vino. ¿Cómo se dice no vino con nosotros? Uh, didn't go with you. Okay. So he because didn't go. Jorge don't go with uh, ours. Okay. Uh, we drink Coca-Cola, no red wine. Okay, no crazy in the next water. In the next travel. <laughs> okay, next travel, uh, Enrique. No crazy o water. Only water. <laughs> <laughs> only water, okay, okay. That's a very nice one, very good. Okay, okay. Guys, ¿qué más? What else? Um, the budget, uh, oh no, you said $50. But eh, ¿qué más nos hace falta? So, Manuel, what is this missing? Ya la mencionó toda Luis la que hemos puesto. Oh, he mentioned Me everything. Sin palabra. Oh no, <laughs> take them back. <laughs> okay, so de David, algo más que quiera agregar? Oh, Tisha, is everything fine? No, he, okay, okay. All right, sounds actually like a very nice trip. Sounds really good. Thank you for that. Okay, guys, and the last but not the least. So, escuchamos al último grupo. Let's listen to the last one. We have Lupita, we have Yvette, we have Abigail, and we have Eric. Guys, ustedes a dónde van? Where are you going? What is the trip? Metro Centro. Metro Centro, al centro histórico. 
<laughs> ah, that's a nice uh, place. No, no. Um, we going to the beach, the Tunco. Uh, we will spend two days and one night. 74 persons includes unlimited food, drink, and accommodation. Activities, swimming, surfing, sailing, beach football, and recommendation. And don't forget the blocker. Uh, we and swimsuit or bikini, okay. Okay. shaker, umbrella, sunglasses, street clothes, book repellent, towel, extra clothing, and first aid kit. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Okay, and that's it. Guys, uh, what else is she missing? Lupita, anything else to add? That's very nice. Guys, el grupo quiere agregar algo más. Do you want to add anything else? So I think I, I have in your group Lupita, Abigail, Eric, anything else? I'm sorry. Uh, I think you mentioned $50, right? That was the budget. O cuánto era el presupuesto? Like how much was the budget again? Yvette? 70 per person. Oh, 70 dollars. Yes. Oh, that's a lot of money. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 70 dollars. Okay. Yes. Sounds interesting. Okay. Um, so, guys, algo que quieran agregar. No sé si los demás compañeros están ahí. I don't know if the other guys are right there. No, me no me quiere dar. Ya lo dijo ella todo. Did she say everything? Yes, me solo a listar la calzoneta. <laughs> okay, yes. okay. Sounds actually very nice. The description is really good, right? Solo no, eh, solo no se nos olvide que si es algo a futuro, normalmente utilizamos eh, la estructura completa. We're going to. But guys, the three of you did it nicely. So very good job with that. That was actually very, very nice. So I think we are ready for vacation and we already have some recommendations, some places we can visit. So that looks good. Okay, guys. So in the meantime, uh, I think we are just like finishing a couple of things here. Uh, solamente tengo uh, some special uh, Things to mention, especialmente ya terminando. And uh, guys, that has been really nice. Ha sido un super buen trabajo. You did an amazing job. And uh, eh, so, especialmente creo que esta unidad that was, you know, like, oh, this is what's wrong. That was actually um, like, I heard a lot of people, you know, participating, giving ideas. So very good job. Y la idea siempre es, uh, si pueden decir algo en inglés, utilicen el vocabulario que tienen para empezar a comunicarse pasito a pasito, right? Siempre agreguenle nuevas cosas para que poco a poco cuando sientan ya tienen mucho vocabulario y no les va a ser tan difícil ponerlo junto, right? So I'm really glad, guys, eh, cuando los escucho hablando en los grupos full English, that is really nice. That is definitely satisfying because it significa que ya se están comunicando. You're communicating already. Y solamente estoy agregándole más vocabulary, right? Um, I just have a little something to share with you guys. Um, and I found this expression that I wanted to, to share with you. And uh, this one says, don't stop until you are proud. So, yo sé que esta hora es bien dura. I know that it's hard. Todos ya van cansados, ya van de bajada, como decimos, right? 
And it's really hard to go to your house and and quizás algunas veces no han cenado, you know, están cansados, estresados and everything. And you're like, oh, tengo clases. But guys, it's really nice uh, when you open your camera and you are participating. Y se escucha el avance, right? Like, de poquito en poquito, de repente, se escucha un gran avance con algunos. And you are communicating. Y ya van perdiendo el miedo. So very nice job with that. Um, so, solamente tengo un par de special uh, mentions. No vamos a hacer el Oscar here because we can't. <laughs> But I have a couple of uh, special things I want to mention. Sorry. So um, I selected uh, some categories um, because I think that it's important to, it's something important to right? mencionar uh, algunos compañeros que han estado ahí like super temprano and uh, que tienen la mejor attendance and everything. So seleccioné un par de categorías that we can use. Um, and I have some, y tengo un par de menciones honoríficas, let's say. First, guys, uh, I want to congratulate you on the best attendance. So, tengo por acá el listado de los compañeros con la mejor asisten asistencia hasta el día de ayer, until yesterday. So, let me mention there, because uh, I think it's very important. And I have, tengo con 90 y something por ciento. I do have Lupita, so very good job. Kudos for Lupita. That's actually very cool. I have with 95 something percent. So I have Yvette. So thank you so much for that. You know, siempre las veo super tempranito and, and I'm really glad about it. I also have, uh, tengo a Manuel with 90 something percent. So very, very nice job on it. Uh, Jorge, ya casi llegándole a 90, so very nice. Super, super close. And I have one more person and that is Debra. So very good job, girls. And boys, claro, a todos, of course, but uh, but I think it was very important because eh, a veces son cosas that we are like, oh, estoy super tempranito. And, you know, I'm very glad, you know, um, that you always come on time. Eh, la segunda, the second one, uh, well, se parece bastante. So I have the first to connect. <laughs> so the second uh, award that I have today is a las personas que siempre están acá tempranito. So I want to mention, uh, you know, I always see Yvette, I see Lupita super early, I see Mr. Castaneda super early too, and Griselda no está ahora, but sometimes Griselda is um, very, very early here, and uh, I also see, uh, let me see, let me see, I think that you're the one who come early, and creo que ya no está. But um, I also included here uno más que es the biggest effort. Y yo creo que todos escuchamos la historia de Carla. And I was like, oh my goodness, you know, she's working. El paciente está dormido, but she's there. So what? What's going on? So um, I think that eh, algunos todavía van en camino para sus casas. And lastimosamente este módulo se les hizo difícil, I know. Pero esperamos, you know, eh, tenerlos al 100% el próximo que organiza sus actividades para escucharlos un poquito más, eh, para que también avancen junto con el resto de compañeros, right? Because eh, la participación es muy importante. Tal vez ustedes dicen, uh, o pueden pensar, ah, like, oh, solo me voy a conectar en that's it. Pero el hecho que usted que empiece a procesar, que diga, hi, my name is, e intente pensar y expresar una idea, Eh, está haciendo mucho. You're doing a lot. O que se quede escuchando, you know, you're doing a lot, guys. So, eh, espero que los compañeros que tuvieron dificultades this module para el próximo, hagamos ahí el espacio, right? Um, or de, de alguna manera el trabajo les permita estar un poco más con, uh, más constantes, right? Y que y que los escuchamos con más frecuencia. Cause that's very very nice. Cuando todos están and, and everybody participates, that's really nice. 
Uh, so in general, uh, very good job again for everybody. But quería mencionar estos tres awards because I think that eh, son eh, muy importantes, right? Uh, eh, a todo el esfuerzo que han hecho este módulo, guys. So, antes que se me vayan before you leave and you go to rest, solo les voy a tomar asistencia si me ayudan con su camarita y me regalan confirmación verbal. That would be very nice. Um, so, I have... la foto de grupo. Sí, sí, sí. Por eso, antes que se me vaya, güey, que ya yo sé que ya nos vamos. But hold on a second. Camilo, ya no lo veo. I don't see him. Uh, David está por ahí. Yes. So I see David. Uh, Debra. Nice for Edwin. Lupita. Thank you, Deb. Eric, sí, la estaba por acá. Abigail, creo que por ahí. Hi, Griselda, ya la vi. I saw you already. Hi, uh, Isaías, hello. I have Yvette. Javier. Jorge, gracias, gracias. I have Eduardo, too. Solo para la foto, oh. ponen la cámara, todo. Oh, but it's okay, guys. It's fine. So, that's, that's all right. Tenemos que peinarnos y no nos gusta peinarnos. No, no, qué barbaridad, guys. <laughs> ok, so que me ayuden un momentito con su camarita, guys. That would be really nice. Jorge, no le voy, no voy a poner el avatar de oso, please. <laughs> That is very nice. So, guys, no sé si están por ahí para que no salga, you know, en oscuro o si tienen pictures, si no, si ya se fueron a cambiar en the, uh, pero tienen una picture, pongan su picture. That's okay. So, Isaías, no sé si está por ahí, David, Debra, Abby, Luis, no creo que Luis iba en camino. I think he was on his way to Comalapa, I believe. No, ya, ya llegué, teacher. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Hey, Debra, nice to meet you. <laughs> ok, so, finally see you. Thank you, Abby. Ok, guys, so let me just take the picture, Luis, y nos ayuda con su camarita un momentito. That will be so appreciated. Javier, too. No sé si Javier va en camino. Jugando está. Uh, Javier va en camino todavía. Where are you? Saliendo del trabajo. Oh, my God. Disparar, ¿no? Wow, thank you. Sí, lo vi conectado, pero no lo escuchaba. Thank you so much. Ok, guys, let Sorry. me take the picture. Espérame, Javier, no se vaya. Wait, wait, wait. So, para que aparezca en la picture, too. Solo un segundito. Ah, yes. Solo un segundito. En, en ahorita les tomo la Quítate foto. Quítate el casco, le dice. <laughs> nice to meet you, Javier. <laughs> es que no los vemos. Te quiero ver, le dije. Ok, ok, guys, ya la tomé, ya se puede poner el casco, thank you so much. <laughs> Ni nos avisó. <laughs> yeah, wow, thank you, Javier, ten cuidado, be careful on your way. All right, guys, so it has been a pleasure, thank you so much. Yo creo que tenemos problemitas con la plataforma, me decía eh, Debra. Guys, si tienen dificultades con la plataforma, tomenle captura, please, y envíenle al grupo para tener eh, backup, right? Eh, algunos ya lo terminaron so thank you so much for that eh, solamente si les falta todavía completarlo, intentemos you know, eh, completarlo Cause el día de mañana tenemos que entregar notas en, para que nadie se quede con un porcentaje menos guys, thank you so much and Mande we are foto. finishing module number three uh -huh. ahorita porque si no se me olvida después <laughs> have an amazing night everybody, <laughs> enjoy it so see you thank around. You for todo, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye, guys. It was a pleasure. I thank you Bye. for the time, Chair. Bye, Miss. Take care. Bye, Bye, Bye. 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 Bye, teacher. Un gusto. Un placer Bye, conocerlo. Nice Bye, partners. Un gusto saber estar Bye, con George. ustedes. Bye, Bye. Gracias a todos. Bendiciones. Nice to meet you, Have teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Adiós. Enjoy Adiós. your night. Bye-bye, guys.